Hi guys, welcome to the Softies Family YouTube channel. I go by the name Bena Softi. Na mimi ndio mzee wa boma na leo niko peke yangu. I really want to say thank you so so much for always being in this YouTube channel and before I go further I really want to appreciate you guys. You have really tried. We were expecting by end of February we to go to make 10,000 subscribers but we really appreciate. I think we are at 7,000 200 and something subscribers and the same as Sandy Sana we really really appreciate guys and if you are new in this YouTube channel Karibu Sana this is the home for entertainment it's a home for education we, we teach you people about so many different topics to our foundation and also we do pranks we do fun and we are about to do traveling traveling vlogs eh? tuko karibu kwanza kufanya traveling vlogs na mambo mingi tu sana so make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel if you are new here and please guys i add you to unajua wengine wao wa money videos let us to upload so there's a ring there's a bell yeah click your a notification bell so that when we upload a video you are able to see na unaweza ona but please if you are new here na ku add tafadhali uweze kufanya nini ku subscribe to this youtube channel ku subscribe ni free hapa youtube and we will really really appreciate guys so it's much can we set a new target for much can we reach 15000 subscribers so we need around 80,000 people to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I know we can make it guys. We are at 7,200 and something by the time I'm uploading this video and I know we will 15,000 by end of this month. At 20,000. So guys, before going further, I want to discuss this. How do you get a partner online and is it genuine so this is the discussion lot at lot to find you prank sama nini leo ni leo ni discussion ya nini takuwa na nini hapa na jom na shangawa mama wa nyumba ako wapi but i'm shooting this video in the morning and uh, she's not here ye uwa anauza manguo guys anauza manguo so amenda kutapita nguo za client za kuuza so i'm alone but we must do content sindio so Today I want to discuss how do you get partner, a partner, unataka partner, utapata hadi partner online, unajua, eh, ju squeeze dunia hiko, unajua watu wako online, squeeze dunia, squeeze ni internet, and, and is it possible to get somebody online, na mudate, na mkwe pamoja for, in a serious relationship, so I want to teach you some tips and what to do because as you all know by the way I got uh, Violet in uh, online in TikTok we met in TikTok I, she was there she was doing content na mimi pia nilikuwa pale alafu tuka tuka nikamuona pale nikaenda in nikaenda nikamwapproach nikamwambia hey guy hata tuko tumemeet kaambia hey girl you know ninakupenda nimekuwa nime nikikufuatilia nimekupenda nini and then we organized for a date we met and then the rest is history we dated for one year before one year actually three months before even we before we moved together you know we dated for one year and i can tell you she was living in Kesarian. Mimi nilikuwa naishi Dagoreti. So we used to meet weekends because tunajua alikuwa na family. Akona akona mtoto, akona brother zake. Na mimi I was living alone. So she used to come over the weekend and I can tell you during that one year, one and three, one year three months, hakuna siku yeye hakuwa iko sakukuja. I think alikuwa sa mara mbili, weekend mbili ama tatu. But we made sure that every weekend we were together. We made sure we interacted. To record, to know that we were going to be together. 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 We were married, we are here. We are planning things together, we do content together, we do a lot of things together. Tuna kosana, tuna selling it, kona fry, sana, most of the time kona fry actually. And that's part of life. So, how do you get somebody and what did I do? So, number one, 
you must make sure you know what you want unataka partner na kaje unaona and um, and uh, kama ni online unafaa kuangalia huyu mtu mwingine unataka unafaa uchunguze what does this person post anaongea na nini pale kwa mtandao unaona umepata jamaa ama umepata dem pale yeye huwa anafanya nini by the way 90% of what people post is what they do. Ukiona mtu anapenda ku post mambo ya God, ujue huyu ni mtu prayerful. Ukiona mtu tu anapenda ku post mambo za club kila saa club, ujue huyu ni mtu anapenda kwenda tu clubs. Yaani what ukiona mtu ana post eh, manguo ama viatu za kuuza sana sana, ujue huyu mtu ni business person. So you need to, even before you meet that person, like for me niliangalia bayo nikaona eh anapenda kuongea stories za HIV things eh, anapenda ku educate wase mambo ya HIV na pia yeye yeah, i am pretty sure ukimuuliza atakwambia after nilimu approach pia yeye yeah, aliniangalia na uzuri mimi nilikuwa najulikana TikTok of course alikuwa ananijua na mimi nilikuwa alikuwa anajulikana pia TikTok na mimi nilikuwa namjua nilikuwa naona so yeah, of course alikuwa anaona vile vitu na post zina relate na yeye na pia mimi niliona zenye yeye na post zina relate na mimi so nikajua huyu mzee nikimkatia niki na tuingiane tunaenda mbali because i can see what, what is in her mind unaona what is in my in her mind anataka kusaidia watu anataka kuongelesha watu anataka kufanya hizi vitu unajua so it was so easy for us like because we did a background check of everyone every one of us like niliangalia background and pia kwa simu vile tuli extend number tuliongea tuliongea tuka eh, nikajua yeye ni nani yeye yeah, akajua mimi nani hata before we met and then we met unaona so before you if you get somebody online the first thing you need to do make sure you look ni nini ana post ni nani pia wana comment kwa kwa, kwa comments zake wanasema nini unaona vitu kama hizo that like you need to do an investigation about that person then inaweza chukua ta unajua online hata one day inaweza chukua angalia just take your time the whole day to look at what does this person post angalia na interact na nani so utajua huyu mtu interest zake ziko wapi because it's good to also to have somebody with interest zenu zina match unaona then number two, after that you need to meet this person this person and I'll advise you meet in an open place most of the time meet somewhere in a, in a, in a hotel in a park in a you know these things don't go to clubs usiende ati muna meet kwenda kukunywa mara ya kwanza no the first meeting in muna meet inafaa kuwa a very serious meeting so don't 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 compromise uh, kama wewe ni mtu unapenda raa unapenda unapenda club kwenda clubs unapenda hizo vitu the first meeting you are meeting with with this lady or this man please don't go to a bar don't go drunk at msinde kwanza kukunywa no have it a serious conversation hata kama ni 30 minutes ama 1 hour and when you meet guys be open you know just be informal talk informally just like mimi naonanga try to create an environment usikuwe muhashi usikuwe ati ujaji mtu umeona looks zake by the way wacha nikwambie kama ni looks eh vayo angeangalia kwangu angenipenda mara ya kwanza because nilikuwa tu shagala bagala you know but when when she talked to me i realized eh kumbe huyu mzee ako anaweza kuwa sira na mimi pia nilimwangalia hivi ninge ningesema eh huyu mzee ni too beautiful for me because vayo is very beautiful so ningesema but when nilikaa nikaona ah kumbe ni mzee anaweza understand unajua sisi wanaume kuna ile unaogopa unaogopa urembo ya msichana so you know guys ni nile unaangalia huyo mtu unasema ongea na yeye ujue who is it I didn't say hi. Kaini chini muulize maswali mbili tatu hapa conversation. Na hiyo conversation isikuwe ni kama unajaribu kuchunguza mtu. A formal conversation. Yaani just a nice conversation. Sasa nini? Eh, wewe unafanyanga nini? Ukiona swali fulani hataki kujibu wachana nayo, but be keen bijuulize kwa kitu yako mbona hakutaka kujibu hiyo swali. So that is what we did. We met, we had a, lunch we talked eh 
and we and then after hapo nikamwambia and guys don't hide usiseme oh nini just say mimi mimi nataka eh ukue my girlfriend ama mimi nataka ukue a friend ama mimi hivyo never judge somebody na vinya na ana ameva tafadhali kama ujaongea na huyo mtu ukajua huyo mtu ni nani don't judge na vinya ameva talk to them ask them questions involve them in a conversation unaona na pia wewe be willing to to be ask question na ujibu kwa sababu it is very important sawa it is very very important to do that to know this person in detail so then mke then mnaachana mnapanga mna another date mnasema okay we will meet another time we will agree what time ama mtasema okay we will discuss you know so then the next meeting pia mnaweza meet bado outside you know so i remember the next meeting we met in the current no she came to my house because yeah because she came to my house and the the one but she just came to see because for me mimi nilitaka ajue mali ni naka because that time i used to live in a single house na the way i saw her niliona unajua kuna kitu unaangalia eh nilimwangalia nikasema nikaona huyu msichana sijui kama atanitikia kulingana na venye naishi because she looks so unajua ile kukua judgmental eh but sasa nikamwambia the next one nikajaribu kumconvince nikamwambia please come to my place na akakuja aka uh, she was so willing to come convince come i just want you to come and see where i live because there's another thing where you live is very important and how you live because kuna msia atakuja kwako aone unaishi maisha tu hivi hivi akukatae na hakuna haja uendeleze kitu for long na huyu msee hauju ajui kwako so she came to my place akaona eh acha tu kukaa 20 minutes i remember tukatoka nilimwambia kuja tu uone alafu twende out so she came and then we went to the hub current hub tukaenda tukakaa huko the whole day i remember tulikaa the all afternoon tukaachana jioni akaenda home tukaongea hiyo siku i remember that is the time uh, sasa tuliongea tena pia into details hivyo so after hapo ah the rest is history akaanza kukuja kwangu tunakaa alafu after 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 four ma- for I think one month nilienda kwake nilitaka kujua sasa nataka kwenda kwake so we discussed nikaenda kwake and she was so happy that nimemtembelea i remember she was so excited hiyo siku yenye nilimwambia ninataka kwenda kwako it is good also to know kama wewe ni a man to know where the woman stays because eh, as kwambie tu ana You, know, you need to know you know and the reason i'm saying this i ever dated somebody online na siko anajua anafanyanga nini unaona and then ikakuja kuniletea shida it's very good to know what your man does and what your woman does it is very good so it is possible na wacha nikwambie online utapata mtu lakini huyo mtu utampata kulingana na wewe uko how serious unajua awezi kuwa unatafuta mtu na wewe uko serious kama uko serious utapata mtu uko serious me i wanted somebody to marry bio wanted a man to marry her so you so you see from our 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 minds we were yes to look like unajua alafu kitu kingine ilitusaidia ni kuwa mtu wa bio eh tali alikuwa shule tali alikuwa shule so we couldn't transfer tali so at least you will to say dia could date for one year for one and and, and three months you could date to to alikuwa anakuja kwangu naenda kwake tunaenda trips hizo vitu zote nimesema so number three, what i want to tell you about dating online ni vizuri pia ujue background ya huyo msichana na pia ujue background ya huyo kijana i remember within this one year before even we moved together nilipeleka bayo kwetu akajua kwetu akajua mali nimetoka akajua so by the time she made the decision to come and stay with me she already knows even ushago kwetu unampeleka tu kama mgeni mnaenda mnatembea mnakaa anaona environment unajua hizo vitu zote eh? so by the time we came na tulikosana pia and let me tell you guys sometimes it's good kukosana kwa relationship because na pi, because you will be able to know sometimes unajua mtu through kukosana unajua 
So I know my I know my girl and and I want to tell Vayo thank you so much for loving me. Najwa utaona hii video but I but I want to tell you thank you so much for loving me. I don't take your love for granted. We have passed a lot. Musionange watu online mnadhani hawana challenges. Sisi uko sana sana hata na vitu peti. Kwanza mimi mimi na kuanga peti sana. <laughs> Sometimes mimi na kuanga peti sana. Naweza kazirika tu juu ya kitu kidogo ama tu nione tu mtu amenunulia ni sema mbona umenunia umenuna unaona but but I, I, I think I think it's very possible to let online kupata mse serious I have done it I have seen it I am living a testimony and this is somebody I met online sikwa namjua nilimuona tu akipost vitu na yeye pia aliniona online na tukapendana and at the end of the day we are here our children are here in fact we have a meet them i think the next video tutakuwa tuna upload tutakuwa na wao and they are here we may interact mwende talia wako hapa wanacheza wanafanya vitu zao eh ndio hao ndio unasikia kwa background wanaongea so guys it is very possible kupata mtu online but it depends with what do you want ni nini unataka unaona but you must make sure usi move haraka kwa hiyo mtu mtu mwenye umepatana na yeye online one thing i can advise usi move haraka na yeye date hata kama ni 6 6 months to 1 year date know each other let me tell you know each other no huyo mtu nikimkasirisha ana behaving aje huyo mtu akikuwa akikuwa na furaha anakuanga aje akikuwa na pesa anafanya nini unaona discuss everything i remember bio kinauliza sasa unajua unajua tuko karibu ku move in together umejipanga aje unajua umejipanga aje and be honest kama kama una feel uko pressure just be honest and be willing also to understand your partner kinya nakwambia unajua so be honest and 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 don't don't be afraid you know hii life kila kitu ni kama kujaribu unajaribu uone what will happen you know just try and see what will happen it it will it will work out imagine it will work out put god put god in front of you man they put put mungu in front of you and you will see great things happening you know i i see this days we pray we pray together tunaomba ananiombea tunaomba tunaomba a family family without prayer is not a family so make sure you do what you 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 be there like be there support each other mtu akilia kwa there mtu akicheka kwa there good times here you know and all that eh? so guys mimi kitu ninataka kuambia ni hivi it is very possible kupata mtu online but step at a time usiharakishe maneno na pia usikae sana the most important thing is kujua huyu mtu anafanya ngani by the way usiwai kubali kuolewa ama kuoa mtu ambaye ujue anafanya nini Jua anafanyanga kazi gani? I'm telling you. Jua huyo mtu anafanyanga kazi gani? Anaombanga Mungu mgani? <laughs> eh? You need to know that my dear friends. You know, jua na wewe pia kuwa willing kuambia huyo mtu kenye unafanya. Usifike mtu kama kama ni kusukuma mkokoteni, mwambie na sukuma mkokoteni. Kama ni ku unafanya kwa bank, eh? mwambie unafanya kwa bank. Kama hivyo, mimi even I took by you to where I work nilienda nikamwa hapo niuliza but for me just to, to tell her you know i am I'm, i'm a genuine person na mimi pia mimi na dating anafanya i see it every day tumefanya na yeye kazi you know you know guys be be somebody mwenye mwenye uko interested kwa kila kitu number 2 number number 5 be careful with the people you seek advice for unajua marriage is going to challenges you know you can hear pata mtu some share patana can you try to live up whatever you discuss can you discuss people things that make you grow na msisikize watu just discuss things that make you grow then you start fanya mpate pesa then you start fanya mkuwe somewhere in life you know that is very very important so guys i hope i will do another part with vio learn ni kwa tunataka kusema hiyo I will do another part with the bio but eh uh, pia to scale the side of the story must say me or to mescale na na bena but I'll make sure we do another part another time with her and uh, we really appreciate you guys for the support guys road to 
15,000 by end of March. Alone it's a remote March. So by end of March, we need to be 15,000 subscribers. I know you can do it, guys. If you have any question, always ask us in the comment section. We will make sure we will answer. Kuna mtu aliniuliza kuhusu watoto ati muende Natalia wako wapi. We will be showing you in our next video eh, about them wako hapa kwa nyumba wa mesia kuja midterm. We, we have to look for something to do with them online. Ata sa hini kienda kushutu wa menuliza, munaenda kufanya video. Nika wawuliza, munaataka kukua kwa video, wakasema hapana. So, ujua mesema hapana, singa waleta, wameniambia hapana. So, nina wasikiza na tunawa respect, ni watu iwetu, tunawapenda. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Kama ni weo mgeni hapa, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nasema asande manze, simbarikiwe sana. I love you guys and thank you so much for your support. Until next time, we'll see. Bye.